Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Super Forex. Today, we'll be looking at a technical analysis on the currency peer AUD USD. And as usual, we'll be talking about fundamentals first before we move right to uh, down to technicals, which is purely what we're going to be seeing on the chart. And uh, now we can see that our AUD USD, uh, the dollar has softened on Tuesday along the US interest rate. And we are seeing uh, expectations of a fall off from uh, treasury yields as investor, investors have detected a slight uh, dovish shift in Federal Reserve's official stone. And now the yen held small gains as a violence in the Middle East supported buying of a safe haven asset and has been last traded firmly at 148.34 per dollar. Now the Swiss franc and uh, also the OC have firmly uh, gained an edging higher on 0 0.9045 uh, to the dollar, while the euro has been up and uh, the Australian dollar is doing absolutely well, about 0.2% to 0.6420 dollars. Now, ahead of an onshore open, the Chinese yuan uh, held overnight gains to trade just above its 50-day moving average in the offshore market at 7.2876 per dollar. Now, what to expect from this, uh, we are looking at a very important zone at 0 0.63980. So if a sell-off should happen, we are looking at least to touch the first resistance at this point. And the breakout of this resistance point means uh, heading to a new zone at um, 0 0.63465, which is at approximately 63 to 70 pips from that point, of course, of course, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's uh, currency pair, Aussie USD. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hi, welcome back, guys. And on today's stock market, we'll be having a look at AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. Now, uh, AMD's short percent of load has risen to 6.86%. Uh, since its last report, and the company has recently reported that it has 30.6 million shares sold short, which is 1.87% of all regular shares that are available for trading. And based on uh, its trading volume, it would take traders about 1.0 days to cover their short positions on average. Why short interest matters, short interest is the number of shares that have been sold short but have not yet been covered on closed out. Now, short selling is when a trader sells shares of a company they do not own with the hope that the price would fall and traders make money from short selling if the price of the stock falls and they lose if it rises. Now, uh, a short interest is important to track because it can act as an indicator for market sentiment and uh, towards a particular stock, of course, an increase in short interest can signal that investors have become more bearish, while a decrease in short interest can signal that they have become more bullish. As you can see from the chart above, uh, the percentage of shares that are sold short for AMD has grown since its last report. And uh, this does not mean that the stock is going to fall in the near term, but traders should be aware that um, it could possibly make a retracement to a new resistance zone uh, before gradually having its uh, retracement back to the very, very important zone at the latest uh, move, which is uh, showing the short interest graph from three months. Um, this does not mean that the stock is going to fall to the nearest term, but traders are supposed to be aware that more shares are being shorted while um, comparing AMD's short interest against its peers uh, comparison. It's a popular technique amongst analysts and investors for gauging how well a company is performing, and that has similar characteristics to it. With all that being said and done, we have a sell input to at least 1.04.15. And uh, this means at about 27 to 30 pips from that entry point, of course, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's talk market, AMD. I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.